Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from AmandaCrochets.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful floating squares dishcloth. Like I always say in my dishcloth series videos, you can also use this as a washcloth in the bathroom if you so choose. So the floating squares dishcloth is a series of chain stitches and double crochet stitches as well as single crochet stitches. And this particular dishcloth is an 8 by 8 dishcloth. However, you can make this as big or as small as you would like if you just understand how to change up the multiples, which I will tell you in a few minutes. So this is what it looks like, and I called it the floating squares dishcloth because it looks like the squares are kind of just floating there and I really enjoy this. I actually also have a blanket tutorial on how to make this. I don't have a video tutorial for that but I do have the written pattern so I will go ahead and link that below just in case you wanted to make this similar stitch into a blanket instead. So let's move on to the tools for today. So you're going to need a size H 5mm crochet hook as always, I'm using my favorite Clover More, And you can use any cotton yarn that you like. I'm just using I Love This Cotton from Hobby Lobby. And it is 100% cotton yarn. And the finished dishcloth I showed you is Hobby Lobby yarn as well. And it's in the color Dove, which is a light gray color. And the color I'm going to be using today is Aqua. So let's get started on today's tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make a slip knot. So to make this tutorial, and if you want to make it the same size that I did, which again was an 8x8 eight eight dishcloth, you're simply going to do a multiple of 5 plus 3. So what this means is you're going to keep chaining a multiple of 5, so 5 plus 5 plus 5 until your desired length. And once you get your desired length, or your width rather, you're going to add 3 more chains onto the end. So if you're going to be doing the same exact dishcloth size that I did, you're going to make a chain of 30 plus 3. So a chain of 30 is a multiple of 5 and then you're going to add three chains onto the end. So to make a chain, you're going to do yarn over your hook and insert through that loop on your hook. So that's one, two, three, four, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Okay, so once you have your thirty-three chains, you're going to work one single crochet in the second chain from your hook and then you're going to do a single crochet in each of the chains all the way across. So to make a single crochet you're going to skip two chains at the very beginning, so one and two, and you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through that loop on your hook, two loops remain, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So that is how you make your single crochet. So you're going to make a single crochet all the way down. So again, you're going to go into that very next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So you're going to make a single crochet in each chain across, and then I will show you how to work the next row. Okay, so now that you have all your single crochets, you're going to simply chain one and turn and then you're going to work a single crochet in the first two stitches. So you're going to go in that very first stitch and you're going to make a single crochet and in that next stitch make another single crochet. And Then after you do that you're going to you're going to skip three stitches and you're going to chain. So you're going to chain three stitches, so one, two, and three, and then you're going to skip the next three stitches, so one, two, and three, and in that very next stitch you're going to make a single crochet, 
and the next stitch after that you're going to make another single crochet and then you're going to repeat this all the way down to the end of your row so again you're going to chain three so one two and three you're going to skip the next three stitches so one two and three and in that stitch after that you're going to make one single crochet in the next two stitches okay so again chain three so one two and three skip the next three stitches so one two and three in that stitch after that you're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches chain three one two and three skip the next three stitches one two and three and in that stitch after that you're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches just grab some more yarn and then you're going to chain three skip the next three stitches one two and three in the stitch after that you're going to make a single crochet as well as a single crochet in that very next stitch chain three okay and then after that you're going to skip the next three stitches and in the next stitch after that you're going to make a single crochet and then in that very last stitch you're going to make another single crochet so this is what row two looks like so for row three you're going to chain three so one two and three and turn your work now into that chain three space that you just made you're going to make five double crochets so that chain three that you just made is going to count as your first double crochet and into that chain three space you're going to make five double crochets so right here you're going to make a double crochet so to make a double crochet you're going to do yarn over your hook insert your hook underneath that chain three yarn over pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops so you're going to make four more for a total of five double crochets in that chain three space so that's three four and five okay so then you're going to repeat this all the way across so all you're going to do is find that chain three space and you're simply going to make five double crochets all in that chain three space. So I'm going to continue this all the way down and then I will show you how to end the row as well as move on to row four. Okay, so I just completed my last cluster of five double crochets. So now I'm going to skip over this single crochet and in that final single crochet I am simply going to make one double crochet and that is what your row is going to look like so every row after this you're just going to repeat rows two and three over and over again into your desired length so for this next one you're going to single crochet I'm sorry you're going to chain one and turn and then the first double crochet you're going to make a single crochet and in the next stitch which is the first double crochet of your cluster you're going to make another single crochet then you're going to chain three so one two and three you're going to skip the next three double crochets so these three right here and in the last double crochet of your cluster you're going to make a single crochet and in the first the first double crochet of your next cluster you're going to make your next single crochet so basically you're going to only work in the first and last double crochet of the five cluster that you made from the pre previous row so you're going to chain three 
skip the next three double crochets and in that very last one you're going to make a single crochet in that very next double crochet which is the first double crochet of that cluster below you're going to make another single crochet and you're just going to repeat this all the way down so one two and three chains skip the next three double crochet in the next one you're going to make a single crochet and the very next stitch after that make a single crochet again chain three three skip the next three double crochet in the very next one you're going to make a single crochet in the stitch after that you're going to make a single crochet chain three skip the next three double crochet and in that last one you're going to make a single crochet the stitch after that you're going to make a single crochet chain three skip the next three double crochets and in that last double crochet you're going to make a single crochet and then when you get to this chain over here you're going to count up three so one two and three and in the top of that chain three you're going to make a single crochet so that is how you make this floating squares dishcloth I'm going to do another row just so you understand what it looks like and then I will show you what the finished dishcloth looks like again. So to go to the next row you're going to chain three and turn. And remember that chain three is going to count as your first double crochet and in each chain three space you're going to make five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. And you're just going to repeat this all the way down. So the next chain three, you're going to make five double crochets. And remember, you're just going to skip those single crochets and work directly in that chain three space. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this row and I will show you what the completed dishcloth looks like. Okay, so here's what a few rows looks like. And if you're following the same exact dishcloth pattern that I'm making, you're going to have six boxes across. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, if you're going to make this bigger, you're obviously going to have a wider dishcloth. And all I have to say is if you're going to make it wider, that you just want to make your the length of your dishcloth the same. So I did an eight by eight dishcloth. So here is what the completed dishcloth looks like once again. And this is the dove gray color. And I really like how it turned out. And I did a total of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine boxes long by six boxes wide so that kind of gives you an, an idea of what it looks like you can make this as big as you like you can even make this into a blanket if you prefer so this is what the floating squares dishcloth looks like so again you're just going to repeat rows two and three over and over into your desired length and I opted to not do a border for this particular dishcloth but if you wanted to do a border feel, feel free to do so I just decided that I didn't want to do a border for this one so thank you so much for joining me on how to make the floating squares dishcloth I hope you enjoyed this dishcloth series and I hope you enjoyed this particular dishcloth that I made for you today all the links will be below as far as where what yarn I used and the hook that I used as well as the written pattern if you're interested in printing out the pattern or just looking at a written pattern. And thank you so much for joining me today. Again, my name is Amanda and I'm from AmandaCrochets.com and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.